Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm looking at the Haya Toys Exquisite Mini Alien Covenant Xenomorph, released in 2019. Now as the title suggests, this Xenomorph was first seen in Alien Covenant. Now for the size of this particular piece, we're looking at roughly a tad over 5 inches, or 12 and a half centimeters tall, depending on how you bend the legs and pose it. Now the Haya Toys Alien line is roughly 1 18th scale, and you guys know me, I love miniatures. And what drew me to this particular line is that one day I was surfing the web and I saw that Haya Toys was making the Robocop 2 Kane figure, and it blew my mind. Uh, that is one of my favorite robots and a big piece of film history, and I will be reviewing that because I pre-ordered it. But I also saw that they made miniature alien figures among other franchises as well, and I had to buy some. As of right now, I only have four, uh, but this is the first one I figured would go chronologically. Uh, I really enjoyed this particular piece. There's a lot to talk about. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is go over to Mold, Hit it with a fine tooth comb. I want to show everybody at home what we're really buying here. We're going to look at the articulation, paint, accessories, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. So let's kick this video off looking at the mold. Now here we have the beautiful head section, or dome if you will. You can see all that biomechanical work there, just very nice. And what I really love is the jaw section. When you open it, you see all those little tendons look like they're stretching. NECA does something similar, but we can see the teeth, the inner jaw. It just looks amazing here. I think they did an exquisite job with the detailing. And you can see underneath the head there, just beautiful. Now with this alien, it's a lot more organic than biomechanical, but it makes sense when you watch the film. Now the paint on the head right here is a little off, it leans a little to the right hand side, but it is what it is for something so small, but the mold is amazing, and look at the inner jaw, fully detailed, fully painted, you got the little mouth open too, and that thing is like a toothpick, it is so small, but yet the detail is massive, big fan of that, and you can just push it in, shut the jaw, and you're good to go. Now underneath is detailed as well, and then we come to the neck and rib cage section, and I'm blown away. I really am. For something so small, uh, this is around the same size as like a three and three quarter inch figure in scale with that series, I should say. And this is great. This is like something that NECA would make or something like that. The detailing is phenomenal, and just look at the tubes, the muscles on the arms fantastic even the shoulder blades beautiful just very fine details now one part i really like is the abdomen you know the midsection you got all these little muscles no six packs or anything like that but just beautifully done i think it looks great and of course our arms and hands excellently mold it even underneath is done you know for the first Haya toys that I'm reviewing this is a great piece for me to get started because I was very impressed you know for a film that not so many people really liked they did a decent job with this like this looks amazing to me anyway and then we have our leg section and tail and it's phenomenal. Uh, the tail is actually rubber with a, you know, a metal wire in there. And it's great. You could pose it, and we'll talk about that in the articulation section. But sculpt it all the way through. Great stuff. Now for the legs. You know, like I mentioned before, this one is more organic. You know, everything looks like muscles that are stretched and tendons. Uh, really makes me think of uh, Alien Resurrection, when the aliens stopped being biomechanical and they started to look more organic, which got carried over into AVP and all that stuff. But uh, 
you know, regardless, it made sense in the film because, you know, David was messing with everything and sort of designed his own. So I get it. It's not perfect yet. It's more animalistic. So it makes sense to me. And I love the feet here. It sort of mimics the original alien's hands with the sort of Spock pose with the extra pinky coming out the side. Great stuff. And underneath, you'll see some blue. That's because I have it with thumbtack because there's no peg port for a stand with this particular figure. So that does it for the molds. Now let's take a look at the articulation. And now looking at the Xenomorph's articulation, this bad boy has about 28 points. First on the head, we have a hinge joint for where the dome meets the neck. And mine's a little stiff. It can go a little back and forth, but what I really love is the ball joint underneath. As you can see, we can rotate it. It can spin all the way around. Great stuff. Now moving on, we have our jaw, which hinges open and shut. And then the inner jaw can come out and go back in. So that's very nice. Now for the arms, they are ball hinges. So, you know, you can spin them all the way around. They could go up and down. It's nice. The same goes for the elbows. Now this side is a little loose. And then we have our hands, which are ball joints, which are pretty cool. Now moving on to the midsection, or our ab crunch, if you will, or our diaphragm joint. It's just a ball joint, and it can rotate back and forth and sideways. It's really good. I actually really like the articulation on this piece in the midsection. I think it's good, and it doesn't take away from the mold as well. Now moving on to the legs, they can go about that far back and this far forward which is pretty good they can't really butterfly that well they're held together with ball joints so it is what it is but for the knees we have a ball peg and then we have a hinge joint so you do get the double knee bend which is great and then we also have another ball peg and again that can rotate all the way around and then there's also that hinge point so you can bend it as well and then we have a little hinge for the toes. Now, I think it's really good for the size. Uh, some of the joints are a little loose, but not too bad. And the other side is identical. Now, for the tail, the metal piece only goes about, I would say, two inches. So, as you can see, I could only bend it about halfway. And the other half has that little curve. That's just the way the rubber is. But all in all, a great piece. And now looking at that paint on the alien xenomorph here, we have uh, about four or five different colors. First up, we have a mixture of black and brown for the main color scheme, and I think it looks great. The lighter brown on top of the black really gives it that look of almost like a wash, and it's fantastic. It makes all those details pop, especially where you see the rib cage or muscles. Very nice. Moving on, we also have silver for our teeth which looks great. We have glossy black for the dome, which also has brown paint on it. As we already saw, it's a little crooked, but it is what it is. And then finally, there is a light sheen to this, like a slimy clear coat, if you will, at certain spots. So it looks pretty awesome. All in all, besides the dome mishap, it's a very nicely painted piece. Moving on, we do have accessories with this piece. We have a base plate, two pegs, and then also two hands. So first up, we have our base plate, and it looks great. We can see it mimics the Nostromo or uh, the colonies flooring with that great, very nice, very detailed, and we have a peg there as well. Really cool. And you can see there's some black, there's some uh, like an orangey rust color as well with some silver. It's nicely done, and then, of course, we have our copyright crap. And if you notice the little slots on the side, the piece does come with these two pegs, and it slides in like so. You could grab another base if you have one, and then squeeze them together and make a longer base, or build them up and have, like, a square, you know, two by two, or so on and so forth. This is amazing. I love this ability. Sweet. Now, to place the alien on the base, it doesn't have a peg port, so normally I'll use fun tack on the feet, or use the tail as a tripod, and you can stand it up like this, and you're good to go. Now, you also get two extra hands. 
Now you get open hands, which we already looked at, and then we have closed hands. And you can see that I'm using a tweezer to hold these up, and they are fully detailed. Fingernails, little muscles, the little slits in between the fingers, everything's there, and it looks great. Moving on to the other hand, it's just a mirrored version, and it looks amazing to me. I love the little details, and the paint is also very nice. It matches identically what's on the Alien, and it's great. It really is. I think they did a decent job. You can see the fingernails there. Really creepy. Now to take them off, just pull them like so. Be a little gentle, though, and then pop another one on. And then as you can see, you can rotate that. Awesome. So as we saw, what we get with this particular alien is a beautiful mold, a decent paint job, and some nice accessories, including a base. Now, does the base really work with the figure? No, but it's cool they added it. And as you can see, if you do a little finagling, you can get him to stand on it quite well. So now let's do some size comparisons. And now looking at today's size comparison with the Haya Toys Alien Covenant Xenomorph seen in the center. First, on the far right hand side, we have the Haya Toys Grid Alien from Alien vs. Predator. A great looking piece there, it's all battle damaged. We'll be looking at that very soon. A great piece, and allegedly it is 118 scale as well, so it matches up with the Alien Covenant Xenomorph quite beautifully. Moving on to the left hand side, we have the 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars The Vintage Collection Boba Fett from The Empire Strikes Back. And finally on the far left hand side, we have one of my favorite toys ever growing up, the Kenner Aliens Gorilla Alien. Great stuff here. And I tried to be a little diverse, you know, we got our Vintage Collection Star Wars figure, we got two Haya toys, and also a 90s uh, Kenner figure. So I know some of my viewers have some of these at home, so you can get a pretty good idea of how big these Haya toys actually are. Uh, they are pretty good, their height depends on how you bend those legs, but all in all, these are some great looking figures here. And as always, if you would like to see reviews of anything I've done here today, such as the Kenner Gorilla Alien, please check the links in the description below. And that does it today for my review of the Haya Toys Exquisite Mini Alien Covenant Xenomorph, released in 2019. Now I designed this video to showcase this figure to all of you at home so you know exactly what you're buying if you decide to pick one of these up. In this video we looked at the mold, the paint, articulation, accessories, and even compared it to some figures. And I have to say, besides my paint mishap on the dome, with the brown paint being a little offset to the right hand side or the fact that the figure has no peg port in the bottom of its foot to hold it to the stand i have to say i'm very very impressed with this line um i love the detailing on here i think Haya toys did a great job sculpting this bad boy and making it as film accurate as they can for the scale great stuff the paint again black brown a little bit of that glossy coat to look like slime fantastic work and the articulation is amazing for the size it is a little loose here and there mainly at the left elbow but besides that very nice you got to keep in mind these are made for adult collectors so I wouldn't buy this and give it to your little kid because they will break it uh, these do seem a little fragile, you know, we're dealing with a figure that is basically a three and three quarter inch figure as we saw it next to Boba Fett, but it's very thin, it's very detailed, and these are little pieces of art. There's no ends, ifs, or buts about them. They're basically if you took a NECA figure and shrunk it down as much as you could without losing the articulation and detail. And that's what I think about when I see these, just miniature NECA figures, and I love it for that. Great stuff, and I can't wait to review more. Now, if you're looking to buy one of these, I recommend going to eBay, Amazon, check your local game stops, or if you have a comic shop or toy shop near you, go check them out, see what they have.
And that's everything I have to say about this beast today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see new videos every week, subscribe. Again, to all of you out there, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.